Good morning, everybody. Pra praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. We want to thank God for this day and all that this day will give to us. We thank God for his mercy and his thank him for his grace. Amen. We thank Lord for this cold weather. Amen. At least we got clothes we can put on. Amen. That's a blessing right there. Somebody said, I got food on the table and amen, clothes to put on. And I just thank God because amen, with him, we can be, we can do all things. But without him, we can't do nothing. And so my brothers and sisters, let us amen, rejoice and let us be glad. We thank God for again bringing us out again together, even in the temperature temperatures like this we thank God because he's still a good God anybody know that he's good he's good not only part-time but he's good all the time and so we're going to get started this morning my sisters and brothers so glad to see all of you who are here amen we come to worship God in spirit and in truth so with that we're going to get started Amen. First, by reading our prayer. We're going to have prayer, and after that, we will have our selection. Amen. Coming to us this morning. Amen. At this time, will you pray with me? Amen. At this time. Father, we first want to say thank you. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you for allowing us to be here this morning on this chilly day. We thank you, God, because we have clothes to put on. We have shoes to wear. Lord, we just want to thank you because, Lord, you made a way for us. And, Lord, this morning we thought it was not robbery, oh, God, to just stay. But, Lord, we made a decision that we're going to come and to, we're going to worship you and we're going to tell you we thank you for all that you have done for us and all that you will continue to do for us as we continue to run this race. Help us. Help us now to always look to you and know that God, you are the way, the truth, and the life. We thank you for our lying down last night, and we thank you for heat in our homes. We thank you for cover we had to pull over ourselves, and God, we thank you, oh God, because, Lord, we didn't have to sleep out in the cold. And this morning, we want to just tell you, thank you for waking us up, amen, to a new day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for breathing on us, and God, thank you for allowing us. Oh God, to assemble ourselves together at this house of worship one more time. We thank you for those who are already here. And thank you for those who are on their way. And Lord, thank you for those who could not just be with us this morning. Lord, we know you know the desires of our hearts. We thank you for our lesson, our Sunday school lesson this morning. We thank you, God, for all of those who participated. We just thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. Even in times like these, Lord, Lord, you are still God. And God, because you are God, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you now, Lord, for this opportunity that we have together to fellowship one with another. And Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy that you shower down upon each of our lives. Now, Lord, bless this service this morning. Bless those who are here and bless those again who are on their way. And God will forever give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Number one in my life. Jesus is the best friend. He is the best friend. 
I tell you, Jesus, Jesus is my best friend I ever had. You know what he is? He is the father, a mother, and a mother, a sister, a sister, and a brother. And a brother. He's the he best friend. Just love it. Jesus is the best friend. You know we can brag off of Jesus. He is the best friend. No matter how many friends we Jesus have. Jesus is the best friend. Jesus is still the best friend. He is the best friend. Jesus is the best friend. Jesus is the best friend. I ever, I ever had. had. You know what he is? good to know him for yourself and it's good to know amen that Jesus is the best thing that you will ever have when you yield your life to him amen to God be the glory this morning I thank God because amen he is the best thing that you and I have ever experienced because he does great things and marvelous things for all of us and he don't slight none of us Amen. The Bible tells us, my brothers and sisters, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him, amen, should not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. Amen. 
This morning, we want to thank God, amen, for the songs, and we thank Him for the prayers. We want to thank Him for you and you this morning. This morning, we thank God. As we said, we are in a new month, February, the first Sunday, and this, amen, month, in this year, in February. And we certainly thank God for you being here this morning. And as we say, today is the day that we set aside as believers. Jesus asked us to do this in remembrance of him. And he told us to re what? remember him. Amen. And it's good for us. Amen. To remember, amen, where we come from and where we are right now. It's good. To look back and say, God, if it had not been for you, where would I be? Amen. So we want to thank Jesus, the best thing that ever happened to my life. Amen. And I just thank him for that. And I love him because I know he loves me. He loves us all. And my brothers and sisters this morning, it is good for us to be here. The Bible says how pleasant it is for brethren. Amen, to dwell together. Brothers and sisters, we are glad to see you this morning out. Again, we thank God because God, he gives us, amen, what we need. And I'm glad of that he gives us what we need. Not what we want, but what we need. And certainly we know we need everything that he has to offer us. Amen, to help us on our journey. And do you do know that this is a journey that we all are on, my brothers and sisters? And we certainly know that God knows the way. And we know that his words say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So this morning, will you listen at uh, the words, amen, coming from, amen, Psalms 133 and Corinthians, the 12th chapter, verses Amen, 12 to 27. It says, Behold, how good, how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the bear, even Aaron's bear, that went down to the skirt of his garments, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessings, even life forevermore. For as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, and whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bound or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the head? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now have God set the members, every one of them in the body, as it has pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body, that there should be no schism, schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. And where the one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Are one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now, now, ye are the body of Christ, and members in particular. The word of God, for the people of God. He said, now you, 
you and I are the body of what? Christ. And members, amen, in particular. We thank God this morning because, amen, the feet can't do what the hands can do. And the hand can't do, amen, what the eyes can do. But all those parts, they are connected to the body. And you and I are the body of Christ. Amen. And God want us, amen, to know that when we look to him, and when we, amen, have faith in his word, there's nothing he will not do for, amen, his people. This morning, my brothers and sisters, we got so much to thank God for. Thank God for waking us up this morning. Amen. Thank God for starting us out on our way this morning. You know what? I, I just couldn't wait till yesterday or Sunday came. I just thank God this morning because, amen, my brothers and sisters, this week, it's been a glorious week. It's been a good week. But we thank God because the Bible tells us when we come together, we come to lift him up. Why? Because he lifted us up all week. Have he lifted you up this week? Amen. Have he have really lift you up? Amen. Higher and higher. And you got something to praise and honk your horn for this morning because if it had not been for God, where would we be? And so we thank God because, my brothers and sisters, we are part of the body. We are connected. There are many, my sisters and brothers, but we are connected. When you are connected to the body of Christ, my brothers and sisters, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. How pleasant it is for brethren and sisters to dwell together, or brothers and sisters, because we can look in our world today and see what is going on. Amen. Satan is He's at war. He, he's doing what, his job. He said, I'm going to and fro, up and down, seeking whom I can devour. And y'all, he's doing that. He's doing that. You see all this stuff that going on, amen, in the world today? Satan is at work. He want to divide us. But I come to tell you, my sisters, it's, it's a beautiful thing when people of God love God and treat one another Amen. Like the God wants us to treat them. Amen. Not the way I want to treat them, but the way God wants us to treat them. He loved one another. Love people. When you love people, you care about them. Amen. You check on them. Amen. You, 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 you're concerned about them. Because brothers and sisters, whether we know it or not, we need one another. I need you. You need me. We got to lean on one another. Sometimes we'll fall on the battlefield. But let me tell you, sometimes God will send somebody there, a stranger, sometimes to what? Reach down and pick us up. Amen. Allow us and remind us, amen, that you are not alone. You're not, you are not isolated. But God said, I'm with you. Every step, every turn you take, I'm with you. And sisters and brothers, if you don't know that by now, I tell you, shame on you. But I thank God because he's with us. He's with us right now. And we got to learn to say, God, thank you. Even though we are sitting here in cars and automobiles, even though God, some are inside, some are outside, but we tell God, thank you. It's another day that the Lord have blessed us. My sisters and brothers, let us hold on to the words of God. Let us not forsake ourselves from assembling together. Amen. He said we're going to have some cold weather, but I think about the older church, the older people back there. They had to walk to church. Amen. Down this dusty road. It was... It wasn't paid. They, they had to walk to church. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, we come a long way. We got automobiles now and we still can't make it. Hello, somebody. Amen. But God made a way for us. And let me tell you, if you fall, ever fall in love with God, hmm, that would be the best thing ever happened to you in your life. Because you say, you know what? I can't lay down on Sunday morning. 
when the Lord been good to me Monday through Friday. Hallelujah. Have we been good to anybody? Yeah, yeah. You, you can't lay there. You, you got to say, God, thank you. Thank you for what you did for me. You walked with me. You woke me up every day. And you gave me strength to do what I had to do. And Lord, this morning, I'm here to tell you thank you. Because I never would have made it if it had not been for you on my side. Hey, he's good, isn't he? Yeah, God, thank you. Well, thank you this morning because, hey, amen, where there's unity, hallelujah, there's strength. My brothers and sisters, so let us keep meeting. Let us keep coming together. Let us keep encouraging one another. Amen. Just wait a little while longer because the Lord is going to do something in your behalf and my behalf because he sees. And he knows our hearts. And I'm glad he knows our hearts this morning. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, he, he will give you the desires of your heart. All you got to do is have faith in him. Don't give up on him. But keep doing, amen, what God has asked us to do. Amen. God's word for God's people. At this time, we will have our next selection, amen, from Brother Chris. I will DJ this morning. Amen. <laughs> church say amen. Jesus, call on him. Call on him. He'll answer you. 
We want to thank God for, amen, that selection it played this morning that we hear. Jesus, he's a good friend to call on anytime. Amen. It don't have to be Monday. It don't have to be Sunday. But you can call on him anytime. My sisters and brother, call on him while you're riding. Call on him while you're sitting in your automobile. Call him up and see the one he answer you. Amen. When you're riding along the way, you can call on God and amen. He'll ride with you. Amen. This morning, I want to thank God because God's been good to us. Amen. And I thank God. Amen. Because on yesterday, my sisters and brothers, we had the opportunity to ride to Goldsboro with my daughter yesterday. Uh, yesterday up in Goldsboro and uh, we were up in Goldsboro. And uh, I didn't have to drive. I sat in the back seat. Hey, crossed my legs and I just fold my hand. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And let me have to tell you, they had, she had, they had a good meet yesterday. The young people, young children, amen, young girls and young boys, amen, how they were into that gymnastic. And Lord have mercy. And parents, we were there cheering them on. And you know how it is when you got your children, when they, they're trying to, they're doing something, amen, constructed, and you, 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 you try to support them. Because my brothers and sisters, they grow up so fast now. Amen. And if we don't do it now, amen, they'll be gone out. But anyhow, we had a good meet yesterday. And Mackenzie, she, she, she scolded yesterday. She, she was in at the top. Amen. They call her name out, and I started clapping my hands. I tell her, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And again, I thank God. I thank God for the children, not only my children, but all of those children that were there. I was watching them, how they flipping, and they were going on, and then joining one another, clapping for one another. Brothers and sisters, I said, we can learn a lot from a child. Amen. And I say, thank you, Jesus. My daughter, uh, Shaquella, we all went together, Janice and I, we were in the back seat. Amen. I was praying on the way, praying, and amen. I was humming, telling the Lord, thank you. Thank you, God, because you've been good to us. And again, we say, to God be the glory. He took us there, and he brought us back. And I just want to thank God, because my brothers and sisters, we serve a good God. Amen. He arrived with you. Won't he ride with you? Yes, he arrived with you. So this morning, I just want to thank God for that. I want to just shout that out this morning. Thank God for all our kids, our children. Because all of them is not doing, amen, bad things. Amen. We got some, they are doing, amen, good things. Parents who love their children, they support them. Amen. Our grands, we support them. And it's good to support your grandchildren and your children because it plays an important part in their lives. Amen. Because when they don't see you, my sisters and brothers, they say grandma and grandpa, they, they're not concerned. Yes, sometimes you got to spend in order to gain. Amen. You got to spend. Amen. My wife, she was looking at me and is telling me, all right, uh, got the house open. We got to eat something now. Who, who going to buy it? They looked at me. <laughs> I said, oh, well. Oh. Anyhow, we enjoyed it. But yesterday, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. So we thank God. Amen. Because if we know that prayer makes a difference. God rode with us all the way there and all the way back. And so we just thank God. Amen for what our children, amen, is doing and accomplishing. Amen. Good things. Because I tell you, in this day and time, you've got to keep them busy. <laughs> amen. Because you don't the devil, he's at work. Amen. This morning, I thank God for you and you. And as we say, we thank God for this beautiful day that the Lord has made. As I said, this morning is our communion. We do this once a month. Amen. Once a month. 
Amen. And today's the day we have set aside as this church to do what Jesus, God, have asked us to do. And he said, I want you to remember me. Amen. And I know sometimes I say, Rev, you keep telling us that. Remember that. You know what? Because we all forget, don't we? We all forget. Amen. And my daddy used to say, if you, you, you ain't forget now, you just keep living. Just keep living, you'll get that. I used to hear, amen, the older preacher, amen, and the older people say the same thing. You get there, just keep living. But I thank God, my sisters and brothers, as I grow deeper and deeper in the Lord, I, I'm understanding that God, you had a purpose. And your purpose is for your people. Amen. To look to you. And you told us if we look to you, we can live. I don't know about you, but I want to live. I don't want to die, but I want to live, my sisters and brothers. And we can live when we look to Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say he'll stare you in every direction. All you have to do is look to him. Say, Father, I stretch my hands to you. No other help I know. If you withdraw yourself from me, I have nowhere to go. Amen. Where can I go? Somebody say, where can I go but to the Lord? My brothers and sisters, we have to go to the Lord because the Lord is good. He's been blessing you and I. He blessed us all week, haven't he? Amen. He, he, he blessed us not with bad things, with good things. And for that, we are here this morning to tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you for giving us strength to stand on our own two feet this morning. Some people can't stand this morning. Hallelujah. But oh my God, my brothers and sisters, you and I got so much to thank God for. But this morning I want to remind us the table is here. Today we're going to commune this morning as brothers and sisters. Because Jesus asked us to do what? Remember him. Amen. It's important for all of us to remember him. Yes. I want to read the scripture from the gospel of Matthew, the 26th chapter. And I want to read from that 26th verse. Amen. Start with the 26th verse, the 26th chapter. In the 26th verse, I want to read, amen, for you, my sisters and brothers. And it reads, and it says, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body, and he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remissions of sins. sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. Hallelujah. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Then said Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after that, after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Jesus said unto Peter, Verily I say unto thee, 
that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice, or three times. I want to stop there. Amen. The Lord's Supper. The Lord's Supper, my sisters and brothers, for the Christian, the believer, is very, very important. Why? Because it's something Jesus told us to do. If Jesus told us to do it, my brothers and sisters, it has to be important, my sisters and brothers, because Jesus said so. He did say he was the way, the truth, and the light, didn't he? He said, no man come unto the Father except what? By me. If he's the way, my brothers and sisters, you and I should pay attention. You and I should, amen, give heed to his word. Don't take it lightly, my brothers and sisters. So this morning, my sisters and brothers, you and I, amen, will be partaking off this table. Amen. This table this morning. And I want us, I want all of us to take a look this morning at four things concerning this ordinance. Amen. That will help us to understand, my sisters and brothers, it's important. It is important. Anytime Jesus says something, it is important for us to watch. Listen. I say, God, what do you want us to know? Jesus, I want you to know who I am. I want you to know that I am that I am. I am the way, the truth, and the light. Uh, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Do I have a witness this morning? I want us to look at first, number one, I want us to look at verse 20, amen, four. Amen. Verse 24. Jesus said what? Do this what? In remembrance of what? Me. Amen. Do it what? In remembrance of me. Why? Why Jesus want us to remember him? Hmm. You know what? We remember so many things that the world want us to remember and we forget what Jesus asks us to remember. My brothers and sisters, we can remember stuff, amen, that we did and we think nothing of it. But when it comes to remembering Jesus, as the body of Christ, a lot of people forget. They forget what Christ has said. He said, when you come together, Jesus said, I want you to remember me. Remember him. It's important that we remember him, not just on communion time, but remember him every hour, every second of the day. Because why? He walks with us. He rides with us. He guides us. He feeds us. He wakes us up. God have did something for every one of us this morning. And my brothers and sisters, let me tell you, it's, no, it's not the time for us, none of us, to get amnesia and forget where God have brought us from. God have did something that no human being can do. God have made ways for us when we didn't see a way. God said, I want you to remember, amen, me. Jesus, my brothers and sisters, want us to remember that it is important for us my brothers and sisters, to heed to his word and his guideline. He said, do this, what? In remembrance of me. Amen. 
my brothers and sisters, just as the Jewish Passover commemorate that time when the blood of the sacrificial lamb was shed. You remember the Lord's Supper looks back, my brothers and sisters, at the sacrifice, the sacrificial death of Jesus on that cross. You remember they hung him. Yes, they hung him on that cross. They nailed his hands to the cross. My brothers and sisters, they put nails in his feet. You remember, my brothers and sisters, the Lord, amen, looked down from them. He looked down on the cross as they were doing, amen, their thing. But he says something from the cross. He said, Father, forgive them. Forgive them because they know not what they're doing. Hallelujah. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we think we know what we're doing. But the Bible said there's a way that seemed right. It seemed right to us what we are doing. But where does it lead us? It leads us in the wrong direction. Do I have a witness this morning? My brothers and sisters, the Lord's Supper, I say, looks back. It looks back at the sacrificial death of Jesus this morning on that cross. Hallelujah. Somebody said it was at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light. Somebody say, and the burdens... Oh, my soul will roll away. I thank the Lord this morning because the Lord's Supper is my brothers and sisters, the Christians, Passover. Am I right about it? Jesus wants us to remember, amen, him this morning. In all our ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we thank God because if it had not been for his goodness and his mercy this morning, where would you and I be? So this morning, we got to remember, oh, amen, that Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. Remember, remember what Jesus had to endure for you and I. Somebody said he, his blood was what? Spilled. His blood ran down. Let me tell you, the blood, will never lose his power. Why? Because he says it reaches to the highest mountain. It flows, what? To the lowest valley. My brothers and sisters, we thank God because if we didn't have no blood, you and I couldn't live. But we thank God for his son shedding his blood for you and I so that you and I, amen, can tell the world about the goodness of God, that he died. Yes, he did it for us. And because he did it for us, you and I ought to tell him thank you. Thank you this morning. Because you was that sacrificial lamb, that lamb, amen, this morning, that amen went there. Hallelujah. For you and I this morning. So that's number one. Remember what he said, Jesus said, not what I say. He said, do this in remembrance of him. And we do it every month. Some churches do it every week. But let me tell you, sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we can do things and we just go through the motion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Sometimes we just do things and say, you know what, we're going through the motion. We had Lord's Supper this day. We had Lord's Supper last Sunday. We just go through the motion. But let me tell you, this thing is serious. God wants us to be serious when we, amen, come together as brothers and sisters. He wants us to look within ourselves. First, don't look outward, but look in. Look where he brought you and I from. Have he brought you from a mighty long way? Yes. H have he forgiven you of your sins? Hello, somebody. I say, have he made a way when you didn't see a way? My brothers and sisters, you have to say, God, it was nobody but you. When I was in trouble, hallelujah. Anybody ever been in some trouble? 
right there when I was in trouble. Hallelujah. You, you stood by me. Hallelujah. When everybody else walked away, they turned their back around and they walked away from But Lord, you stood there. Hallelujah. Not only you stood there, but the Lord took you by your hand. And he said, come on, daughter. Come on, my son. Come on, my mother. Come on, my father. Somebody say, he'll, he'll guide you. He won't leave you there. Hallelujah. Somebody say, he, he'll, he'll pick you up if, you, if you're crippled. You, you can't get up. Jesus will, will pick you up. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you're laying flat on your back, somebody say, he'll pick you up. <laughs> Won't he pick you up? <laughs> yeah. So, somebody say, he'll put something inside of you uh, where you can stand up and walk like a, 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 a human being supposed to walk. Hallelujah. Walk upright. Walk with your head knowing that God is, amen, it's a God who is over all creation. Yes. My brothers and sisters, I look at the trees sometimes. Hallelujah. When the wind blowing through them. Hallelujah. I say they're just praising God. They just start praising God. Say, God, thank you for just breathing on us. Just thank you for sending your cool breeze on us. And Lord knows they'd be they'd be just bothering. They'd be just shouting, Thank you, Jesus, for blowing on us. Well, that's how we ought to be, our sisters and brothers. When we come here to this table, the Bible says we got to what? Examine ourselves. I can't examine you. You can't examine me. But you got to say, Lord, search my heart. You know me better than I know myself. Hallelujah. Won't he search you? Won't he do it? All you got to do, have faith in God. God will never... Turn his back on you. He'll be there. Hallelujah. When you fall, just like David fell, he'll be with you. When you fall, you and I fall, God will be right there. Oh, you got God say, when you fall, all I want you to do is confess up. Say, God, I made a mistake in life. And that's all David had to do. David, David was a man after God's own heart. But, but David did some wrong stuff. But I thank God when you confess up. When you say, God, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh God, standing in the need of prayer. Anybody need some prayer besides me? Yeah, the preacher need prayer. You need prayer. We all need prayer. Hallelujah. Because the devil will, he's cunning. He'll trip you up. Hallelujah. He'll say, he'll tell you, you don't have to take it. You don't have to be there. But he's a liar. And the truth is not in him. The Bible says, as often as we come together, we do this, what? In remembrance of him. What he did for us on that cross. My brothers and sisters, so let us remember just as he asked us to do. Number two, it is to be a time of recommendation. Amen. Again, look at verse 26. It said, look carefully at one word. Look at this word, the word shoe. It said, the meaning is to proclaim. Baptism does not save us. Hello, somebody. A lot of people say, well, I've been baptized. I've been in the river. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but that, that, that don't cut it. <laughs> Amen, my brothers and sisters. You can, that, you can be, come on, somebody say, you can be a wet, wet, wet devil. How, how did it come up a wet devil? <laughs> you go down as a devil, you come up a wet devil. But let me tell you, look carefully at this word. My brothers and sisters, it proclaims what it proclaims. Baptism does not save a person, but it proclaims the word to the world, our what? Identification with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Hello, somebody. My sisters and brothers, as we partake of this table this morning of the Lord's Supper, it does not save. But when we take of the bread and the juice, my brothers and sisters, you and I are testifying to the fact that as we receive this bread, and Jews, so to have we received it, Jesus Christ 
into our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. We receive him into our lives as Lord of Lord and King of King. Do I have a witness this morning? My brothers and sisters, you do know he's the King of King. He's the Lord of Lord. Somebody said when we look to him, we can live. Look and live. Yes, my sisters and brothers, he want us to remember him. Yes, Jesus want us, my brothers and sisters, to know that when we identify with him, we are not just identifying just to be identifying, but we are identifying because what? Our lives have been changed. We have been changed and we have been transformed because God wants us to walk a different walk. He don't want us to have the same walk, but he wants us to have a different walk than what we used to have. I thank God this morning because when I look at his word, my sisters and brothers, I look back at my life and I pray that you and I will look at our lives and see what the Lord have done for us. He brought you and I out of darkness into what? The marvelous light. Aren't you glad about that? Yes, my sisters and brothers. That's what he wants us to do. And the third point is, is this I want to make is, it is to be a time of what? Reflection. The Lord's Supper is a time of reflection. My brothers and sisters, not a time to see who we're going to do what, but it is a time of reflection. Verse 27, my brothers and sisters, and verse 28. Amen. Tells us, my brothers and sisters, about this. What Jesus said, and he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them and said, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the missions of what? Sins. But I say unto you, my brothers and sisters, I say unto you, he said, Amen. I will not drink henceforth this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it anew with you in my father's house. For this is my blood. Amen. Anybody know the blood doesn't sign your name? The blood. What can wash away our sin? But the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that? Aren't you glad of that? Yes. You don't have, a, have to have money to be saved. You don't have to be rich. You can be poor. You can be down and out. But God will. He'll, he, he'll answer you. He'll answer your prayer. All you got to do is ask. He say, ask me. And I'll give you, hallelujah, the desires of your heart. This morning, my brothers and sisters, his word is true. God wants us to identify ourselves. A lot of times we say we are Christians, but the lives that we live, amen, during the week, it does not add up. Let me tell you, when you leave here on Sunday, you ought to leave just like you ought to be the same way on Monday, same way on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But when we leave here, amen, sometimes you, 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 you hear people out there that say, man, he's, he says he's a Christian, she says she's a Christian. And they are using some of all kinds of filth and words and stuff that should not be used. But let me tell you, my sisters and brothers, God wants us to be the same. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, through Friday. Because God never changed. He never changed. But he wants us to know that he is working on us. We are in what? A process. None of us are perfect. But God said, I, I want to work on you. I want to put you on the spin wheel. Hallelujah. I want to spin you. And let you know that you, you all, all of us got some stuff in us. You do know that, don't you? All of us got some stuff in us that God need to what? Weed out our lives. Amen. Because you know what? 
my brothers and sisters, we have to wash this little thing in our mouth called the tongue. Hallelujah. That tongue, we'll find ourselves saying some stuff that we ain't got no business in. Amen. But when we know that we know that we have been touched, we have been saved by the blood of Jesus, my brothers and sisters, he's going to transform us. We're going to become what? New creatures. Why? Because old things is going to what? Fade away. Number three. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. My brothers and sisters, we thank God. It is to be a time of reflection, I say. We thank God because it should not be taken what lightly. Amen. In the scripture, the Bible tells us what? To examine ourselves. Amen. We must examine ourselves before we partake of this table. You know what you did this week and you know what you did do. It's a good time to what? Confess it right now. You may be in your automobile, but it's a good time. God knows everything we, do, we did. And Lord knows, I know I did, I did some stuff. And I, I said, God, give me a, create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within me. Hallelujah. Forgive me for that sin I committed. Forgive me, God. He will forgive you. He'll forgive you, my brothers and sisters. That's the kind of God he is. He'll forgive you. And Lord, Lord knows, I say all of us have did some, something wrong. Ain't none of us perfect. And that's why we have the praise that God, it's me. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. I need you. Oh, when I need you, I need you every hour. I need you every what? Second. Every moment. Of the day, I need you, Lord. And you know when you call on him, he'll be right there for you. Hello, somebody. Yes, we should do this prior to what? Prior to taking off this table. We ought to be examining ourselves, Lord. What have I did, Lord, that offended someone? You maybe didn't know you offended someone this week. But God knows what you did. And he know what you didn't do. Sometimes we can use words that, that, that are bitter. That they, 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 they belittle our brothers and sisters. And we think nothing of them. But God said, I want you to examine yourself. You think you got it together. But oh, when you look in the mirror, when you really let the mirror look in you, hallelujah, you, you, you'll be sad. He said, that was me? I did that? Yeah. He said, yeah, that was you. You curse me. Yeah. You turned your back on me. When you supposed to stood stood up for him. You he said you let me down. We all let him down, but said, God, Father, please forgive me for letting you down. I didn't mean to. But God, I, that's why I need you. That's why he said I that's why you need me. Because I am a God this morning who searches, who searches our hearts and who knows what we need before we ask. He'll search you because he know what wicked ways are in all of us. So my brothers and sisters, we ought to, amen, do what his word tells us to do. Don't take it lightly. Just don't let us go through the motion but let us be sincere, real with one another. Say, God, thank you. Because I feel what a ton of bricks have lifted off me when I what, confess and I, I say, Lord, I need thee to walk with me, guide me, to show me the way. Won't he do it? He'll do it for you. Yes. So that's the third and then the fourth one and the final are there are unconfessed sin. If there are unconfessed sins in our lives or any issues left unsettled with God. Hello, my brothers and sisters. It is, be, it is to be a time what, of rejoicing. Verse 26, as often as we keep this ordinance, my brothers and sisters, we remember his death until he comes. Yes, my brothers and sisters. 
we should rejoice when one come back to God. If he or she walked away, we ought to do our best to tell them to turn around. It's not too late, my brothers and sisters. God will help you to turn around and come back to him. Do I have a witness? We can not only look back to his death, my brothers and sisters, on that cross with gratitude, but we can look forward to his coming. Amen again with joy. Don't you anybody know that he's coming back? Uh, I say he's coming back. One day he's coming back. He's been gone a long time now, but I want to remind you that he's coming back one day. And the Bible say he's coming back, not for the world, but he's coming back for the church. Aren't you glad this morning you are connected uh, to the church? <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, I'm coming back for the church without what spot or wrinkle. I thank God this morning because the church is not perfect. Uh, we know sometimes we have divisions in the body. But let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, uh, we can, amen, put it in the hands of the man who got the plan in his hand. Uh, he can turn it around for our good. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, yes. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, uh, we mistreat one another. Uh, sometimes, my brothers and sisters, uh, we don't love like we should love. Uh, but I stopped to tell you this morning, uh, the Lord's Supper is a time for us to examine ourselves uh, before, amen, we would take off that table. Uh, you can't blame the pastor. You can't can't blame the deacons, uh, you can't blame the ushers, uh, but somebody got to say, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, uh, standing in the need of prayer. Uh, well, I tell you this morning, prayer uh, will catch his attention. Uh, I'm all right about it. Uh, before we partake of this table, uh, I say we should examine ourselves uh, thoroughly and be certain that all uh, the living has been removed from our lives. Uh, am I right about it? <laughs> if there is sin uh, in your life this morning, uh, if there is anything uh, lurking, amen, that should not be lurking in your life, uh, then, my brothers and sisters, uh, we need to confess it uh, right now uh, unto the Lord. Uh, let me tell you, uh, he'll hear uh, your cry. Uh, yeah. How you know, Pastor? Uh, I'm a witness this morning. Uh, he heard my prayer. Uh, yeah, my brothers and sisters, uh, I don't care what you did this week, uh, uh, who you uh, upset this mo this week, uh, but if you take it to the Lord uh, in prayer, uh, won't he turn it around for you? Uh, yeah, a person who partake of the Lord's Supper uh, unworthy, the Bible says guilty of the body and the blood of Jesus and my sisters and brothers uh, and may fall uh, under the judgment of God. Uh, you don't want to fall uh, under the judgment of God. Uh, Paul tells us uh, the church uh, that some have died uh, and some are sickly uh, because of this very uh, reason this morning. Uh, some of the saints uh, that were plunged uh, they were playing uh, they were playing in the church which I at the church at Corinth and the Bible say and affecting the observance of the Lord's Supper so you see they were playing with the Lord but let me tell you this morning it's a dangerous thing to pray, play with the Lord am I right about it yeah you ought to be sincere you ought to be real you ought to ask the Lord Lord search me search me Lord for my tale the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Uh, some of the sins uh, that were pledging, uh, plaguing the early church uh, and affecting, uh, it was affecting uh, their observance of the Lord's Supper. Uh, yeah, they had division in the church. And don't you see uh, the devil, uh, he's at work in the church. Uh, I stop to tell you, just because you got on a pretty dress, uh, a new suit and a tie, 
there. Hey, the devil will. He'll play with you. He'll play with your mind. Am I right about it? I don't care how long you've been in the church, but the devil, he know how to mix things up in your life and cause you, hallelujah, to lose your joy. Am I right about it? Yeah. So much different doctrine in the church. Yeah. Some is telling one thing and some is reading another thing. But let me tell you, if you stick with the word of God, you can't lose with the stuff you got. Am I right about it? Hello, somebody. Yeah. I know that he will. He'll walk with you. He'll not only walk with you, but he'll instruct you in the way to go. Yeah. Somebody in that early church, they were doing all kind of things. They were getting drunk, drunken, yeah, and coming to the Lord's table with with liquor and bear on their, in their breath. But I stopped to tell somebody, drunkenness uh, yeah, in the church of God is a dangerous thing. But let me tell you, if you're drunk uh, on the Holy Spirit, that's a good thing. Am I right about it? As I close this morning, yeah, God want us to search our heart. He want us to look uh, deeply in our inward part and see if anything that need to be moved. Say, Lord, move it right now. Take it away from us. Won't he take it away from you? Yeah. How you know? Because I've been there. He took some stuff from me that I used to do. But Lord, I want to tell him thank you. I don't have to bend down to the devil no more. But I can stand upright and say, Father, here am I. Here am I. Use me, God. Won't he use you? Won't he use you? Yeah. You ought to have clean hands and a clean heart when you partake of this bread, which is the body of Christ, and partake of the blood, which is amen, the wine that you and I drink is the blood that Jesus shed it way back on Calvary. Hallelujah. Well, over 2,000 years ago. But let me tell you about the blood. The blood will never lose its power. Anybody know that the blood of Jesus can wash you whiter than snow? Am I right about it? And he's a good God. And he's a good God. Thank you, Lord. Now, Lord, prepare our hearts. Prepare us, Lord, as your people to come with clean hearts and right, right thinking. And before we come to this table, Lord, help us to do, Lord, what you have instructed us to do. Search ourselves. And when we search ourselves, Lord, Help us to, Lord, look to you and say, God, give me, give me, Lord, strength to do your will. And let me tell you, if you ask God and be sincerely, he will do it for you. Am I right about it? Yeah. May God bless you. May God bless you this morning. Heaven smile upon you. Hallelujah. At this time, our deacons will come this morning. Amen. And while they're coming, I have a announcement. Amen. I thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll do that after. Amen. But first, we're going to partake of the Lord's Supper. And then I come back and give the announcement for this morning. Amen. As the trustees come now, or deacons come now, Amen. We prepare for the Lord's Supper. Let us search our hearts. Let us look within and ask God, is it me? Is it me? 
O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we lift this communion wine and this bread up to you this morning, God, to your people. Father, build a fence around us because we know the devil desire to have our minds and have our attention. But God, we thank you because you are, you are a miracle God. We know it's nothing too hard for you to do for us. We ask you to bless this wine and bless the bread that we partake this morning. And we do it together in love. We do this and we ask this in Jesus name. Amen. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Jesus
will never lose this power. Hallelujah. We thank God this morning. Amen for the beautiful day. Thank you for the sunshine. Amen. This morning. Amen. Before we take it, amen. I'm going to ask you to just get out your automobile. Stand up. Stand, stand beside your car. Will you do that? Quickly for me. Amen. We'll soon be through. Because the Bible says how pleasant it is for brother. Will you get out your car? Amen. Those who are able to dwell together. And brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, but it makes a difference. Hallelujah. When we see one another, amen, communing together, it does something. The body. Christ wants us to be together. Amen. Not separated, but be together. And I thank God because it's better to uh, obey God than man. And so this morning, I ask you to stand with me. Stand with us this morning. It feels good to stand. Do you know so many people can't stand? But if you can stand for a minute or two, just tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. Say, God, thank you. I'm able to stand on my own two feet this morning. Hallelujah. I don't need a king. Uh, amen. I don't need a chair. Nobody hold me this morning, but I'm standing. You and I are standing on the promises of God that cannot fail. My brothers and sisters, the Bible say he took the bread and he say, this is my body. Break. Eat. And remember of me. He ate the bread. And then the cup represent his shed blood. He said, take it and drink it and remember some me. Amen. Let the church say amen. We have we have did what the Lord has asked us to do. My sisters and brothers, God is good, isn't he? Look how it warming up. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good, y'all. I tell you, he's a good God. God wants us, amen, walk together, pray for one another, encourage one another. We're so glad to see all of you this morning. We're so happy to have our deacon back with us this morning. Deaconess is back with us. Hallelujah. She was there last Sunday. But we thank God for her. She made it back to South Carolina. Somebody said, where are roots at? Amen, amen. We're so happy to have her this morning. And I'll miss my sisters and brothers. Pray for her. Pray for one another. Because we all need prayer. My brothers, and pray for us. That God will, amen, take care of us. And I know he's going to do it. Let us continue. Amen. Walk together. Let us continue to lean on the Lord. And then, when we can't lean, amen, tell the Lord, Lord, send me somebody. He'll send you some help. The Holy Spirit, amen, is there to, amen, help us to keep on marching forward. And if we keep on marching forward, amen, everything is going to work out for our good. Again, we ask that you remember our sick and shut in. Our sisters and brothers who could not be with us, amen. Our deacons, we're commune with them who are not here on their list, amen. And when they commune with them, we are, have prayer with them, tell them we miss them. We miss them and we know some can't be here, amen, because of health reasons. But again, we miss them. And let us walk together as a church. Let us continue to pray our strength in the Lord. That the Lord will continue to be with us as this virus continues. Amen. Let us, amen, continue to obey. Wear our masses. I got mine. It's off right now, but I got it. I've been wearing it all week. I wore it up to Greensboro yesterday. I am still wearing it. But please, ma'am, and please, sir, if you haven't got the shots, get the shot. Amen. This thing is serious. My sisters and brothers, because so many are still leaving this world, amen, unprepared. 
So, with that, my brothers and sisters, as we now get ready to leave this place, but never from God's presence, let us take the Lord with us everywhere we go. I have one announcement this morning. So, amen. Before we go, amen. And it's from, I think, the Kingston Lake Association. It's the 100 Women in Red, the King Kingston Lake Missionary Baptist Association fundraiser. This fundraiser, they're asking each church, amen, each 100 participants are asked to donate $100 each to the Kingston Lake Missionary Baptist Church. This is February, the, Friday, February the 11th at 7 p.m. And this is at the Kingston Lake Missionary, amen, Google, Missionary, Kingston Lake Missionary of Baptist Association. He said, Google me, amen. If you want to Google it, amen, he have this information. I'm going to place it. Amen. If you, if you like to have a copy of it, amen. We ask you to come and read it. If you can donate to the Kingston Lake Association, amen. February the 11th, amen, at 7 p.m. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory this morning. Is there any other announcements anyone have to share this morning? Amen. I may not know. But again, if not, let us pray again for all of our sisters and brothers, our mothers. Pray for Mother Green, Sister Aretha Green, Goss, <laughs> Sister Goss. Pray for uh, Amen, Vereen. Pray for her also. And let's pray for all of them because my sisters and brothers, we know that, amen, it's their time now, but ours may be to the, this afternoon. We never know. But let's pray for, amen, those people that were sick and shut in in our community. And if we can't visit them, call them. And I know they will be glad to hear your voice. Please, ma'am, please, sir, do that. The deacons can't do it all. But we ask us as the body of Christ, amen, to pitch in, to help, amen, make somebody day, amen, a better day. Amen. Pray for all of them, the, all the I was sick and shut in this morning. Those who names I haven't called, have, haven't forgot, have forgotten. But let me tell you, God never forgets you. Amen. He knows who you are. And we pray that God will, amen, give you strength. Amen. For another day. Amen. To God be the glory. Now may we look to the Lord for dismissal from this place. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together again. Thank you for this communion Sunday to breaking the bread and the wine. And God, we thank you. Thank you because you are so good. You've been so good to all of us. And we just can't thank you enough. Now, Lord, as we get ready to leave this place, but never from your presence, we ask that you arrive with us as we go along. We ask that you will, God, guide us and protect us. And be with us, Lord, now as we leave this house of worship. Now, God, may your grace, may your peace, may your love abide with us, us now, henceforth, and forevermore. Let us all say amen. amen. God be with you until we all meet again. Lifting up their hands.